everyone welcome to the beginning of this reading vlog um voice reveal kind of <laughs> but before we begin actually i've kind of already flopped because i forgot to film the books that i had to take back to the library but i filmed them in another video when i went to the library the first time and got them so the first book i read was called the name of the night this is about a nine or ten year old girl who has um a medical condition that makes her call forth the night so basically when she gets really stressed or scared um, all of a sudden everything starts turning into the night sky. I think the whole thing is pretty much just supposed to be like, you know, a metaphor for mental illness, anxiety, etc. Um, and the main character, her name is Mira, she lives with this doctor deep in the forest because that way, like, you know, she won't hurt anyone else because of her, her night abilities. And with his help, she's just trying to overcome whatever it is that is making her call forth the night. And yeah, like I said, I think it's really just about mental illness. There's even a part where um, she like meets this sort of figure and this other girl tells her that, you know, you have to call forth the light. I mean, you have to call forth the night to remember your light. And I thought that was really beautiful um, and really touching. And honestly, the main thing about this book is that it is just so, 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 so pretty. The art is just fantastic. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know what to compare it to. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, the mangaka is literally a master. It's so, so, so pretty. So I would definitely recommend picking it up, even if you just want to look at pretty art. Like, everything is gorgeous and beautiful. So that was the first one, and I would say I would give it four stars easily, just because of, like, the plot was good, so that's, like, three stars, and then the art was fantastic, so another, another star for that. I wouldn't say it's five stars, because it's not really, like, blowing me away yet, but it's really, really, really good, I think. And then the next book we have is Goodbye, Airy, and this book, I actually had no idea what it was about, and I kind of kept it that way because I knew I'd want to read it one day. I knew that it was a manga that I'd want to read. And it's kind of like shrouded in mystery. Like, what is this book about? But um, I honestly couldn't even explain to you entirely what it's about either because um, I, I just feel like I didn't ultimately get it. So the plot is that our main character is a 12-year-old boy. His name's Yuta. And he gets a smartphone for his birthday. And his mom asks him to film her dying days. And after he does that, he turns all the clips into a movie, which he shows at a school festival. And it's really weird and disturbing. And everyone is like, what's wrong with you? Like, why would you do this? Do you even have any morals? Um, because at the end of the movie, which had been, like, kind of touching, uh, he added an explosion, which is just, like, weird. Like, even, I think it was the school principal was like, what is wrong with you? Like, why would you defile your mother's memory like this, basically? And then uh, he goes to the top uh, of the hospital, to the roof of the hospital where his mother passed away. Uh, he's playing on... Uh, unaliving himself and he meets a girl up there who's like hey uh are you gonna jump because you shouldn't do that here because you'll mess up the hospital's reputation and that girl is airy and they kind of just form this weird friendship she literally takes him to an abandoned building and they start watching movies and she tells him that like you know your movie it could be better and the reason that it's not better is because you haven't seen enough movies so like you don't know what's good basically and i don't really know how to explain the rest of it um i don't want to give any spoilers of course but just the ending of it kind of did not make any sense to me and i know that was on purpose but also it just didn't make any sense to me i guess ultimately it was talking about how we all have our own subjective views of people but also how the usage of technology and maybe even social media to an extent can reframe how we see people and how we capture people and how that becomes their legacy, even if that's not necessarily who they were as a person, how we can capture only the good things and kind of have our memories altered in, in a way, in a sense. And I feel like that was like the main message of it, which I was like, oh, okay, yeah, like I'm on board with this. But then it got to the very end of the manga and I was like, what? I just don't, I don't know what the ending was supposed to be. I don't know what I was supposed to take from the ending other than like someone getting their like creative juices back or whatever. Like, I don't, I just don't know how to take the, the ending. I just don't. And so because of that, I would give it three stars. Um, I really do not like Fujimoto's art style. Like, that's just on me, I guess. I don't know. I just find it really, like, <laughs> unpleasant. Like, it's just not pleasing to look at. And then, like I said, like, the plot, like, I just didn't get it. Like, it was fine, and then it got weird in a way that I just didn't get. Like, and maybe that's on me for being dumb, but I just did not get the ending of it. So the next thing I'm about to read is Professor Akira Takasuki's conjecture this is a manga about um a university student whose professor like asks him to come help him like assist him with jobs involving the supernatural so i'm really excited to see how it goes so um that was over in a flash for you but for me it took like i don't know how long it took me to read it but i read volume one and i really really liked it i think that it's setting up for like a lot of um, kind of mystery. I think both characters, both the main character and um, the professor, they have some really interesting backstories, I can tell. We kind of, we know the main character's backstory because it's like 
the first thing that happens in the manga, but I'm really, really interested in the professor. He's like afraid of birds and sometimes his eyes look blue and I'm like, ooh, what does that mean? So um, I was looking it up and the next volume doesn't come out until November, but that's not too long. It's almost November. So I definitely think I'm going to read that as soon as I can. It's really, really good. And also I was looking at the light novel and it covers way more than the first volume of the manga does. So that's also something to think of. I don't really have time to read a light novel right now. I have some other books that I want to read first, but yeah. Um, and there's also, but um, I what I think I really liked about this manga is that it seems like it's going to be really episodic in terms of like kind of how X-Files has like a monster of the week or something like that, you know? It's like they're going to reviewing, be doing like cases every single, I don't know, like maybe two, two chapters, two, three chapters per case. And I think that's really interesting. So the first volume, there's like two sections of it is about one case. And then the last part of it begins the next case. And so I'm really interested in that. It'll be continued in volume two of the manga. I really, really like that format. Um, I love like how each new case will, you know, probably reveal more and more about each of the characters. So I'm really into that. Very much so, you know like a, a link click sort of thing. I really love cases like that. I love investigations. I think there's um another like manga series that's like this and it also has light novels, but I can't think of what it's called right now. Something about a jeweler. A, I don't know what it's called, like the case files of something. I, it, the man's like a jeweler, but it's, it's something like that. I feel like if you like that series, you'll probably like this one. Granted, I don't know what the other series is about. I'm just guessing, but I think that uh, if you like that series, definitely check out this one. And if you've also read this series, maybe check out the jeweler one. I don't know. I'm, I'll put that higher on my priority list. But yeah, I definitely think... This was a good addition to our little Halloween readathon for the last however many days of this month. <laughs> um, I think the next thing off my TBR I'm going to read is maybe Manner of Death. Um, literally everything else on my TBR is a BL. Um, this manga was the only one that wasn't. But you know, it, oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention. It does give BL vibes. Like it gives vibe. You know what I mean? Like you know what I'm saying when it's like it's kind of clear that like <laughs> like two male characters you know they're supposed to have good chemistry like that right so it does have those vibes if you're looking for vibes <laughs> it has them um but yeah everything else that i have to read is bl but i think that's what i'm going to read next because i feel like it's kind of long i'm not sure i'm gonna have to check how many pages it is but yeah i think that's the next thing we'll be reading is manner of death a little reading break um i for some reason read nothing today it's day two and i'm already flopping <laughs> didn't i say i flopped yesterday oh my gosh we can't flop two days in a row so that's my quick little check-in. I just wanted to say that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Let, let's not call this vlog a vlog. Let's not call this a vlog a flop yet. Like, let's not do it. Let's not do it. Because it might turn around. Like, it could do a whole 180. I don't know. Oh, and it's Lu Guang's birthday. So how can we really go wrong? He's ageless, and I love him, and he would tell me to just try my best again tomorrow. <laughs> So I started reading Manner of Death tonight, and honestly, it's giving Wattpad. Like, I'm not loving it. The mystery isn't very compelling, and the romance is just meh. And also, it's not 18 plus, so there won't even be any good, like, you know, <laughs> scenes. Um, so let me tell you what it's about so far. The main character is Dr. Bun, who's a forensic investigator. He's called to the scene of a crime and immediately suspects that it's probably a homicide and that the victim's boyfriend looks suspicious. But then he's threatened to keep quiet about his suspicions and told that if he can't comply, he'll lose people around him and also um, that he can't trust the police. So he decides he has to investigate what's going on by himself. And that sounds good, but like, I'm bored? It's not that interesting. And like, the romance, it's just underdeveloped. Just underdeveloped. Um, I actually read an entire other manga while procrastinating reading Manner of Death. <laughs> it was an Omegaverse BL called um, City Light's Birthday. Uh, it's irrelevant to this video, but I give it 3 or 3.5 stars. Uh, I just could not continue on with Manner of Death. It was just so boring. I'm, I'm sorry. I, it just, it's kind of putting me in a reading slump, actually. And we're only on day three, y'all. Like, this is day three. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um... I'll try harder tomorrow. <laughs>
hello everyone it's day four as you can see uh, i went out with my mom this morning and while i was waiting in the doctor's office i actually read a bit of the graphic novel i got at the library last time the infinity particle i was really loving it um but anyway that is not part of our halloween readathon <sighs> i decided that i'm going to finish reading volume one of manner of death and if i don't like the ending then i'll just drop the series and never read volume two <laughs> Um, but yeah, I did not read any more of Manor of Death, and I didn't read anything else. I'm honestly kind of regretting picking up Manor of Death, because I feel like I could have been using this time to read something else, but it just made me not want to read anything else, and I feel like I'm too far into it, or like, it's not really that long of a manga for me to not finish it, so I need to just finish it, and I can't read anything else before I finish it. I don't know. Say finish it one more time. Um, but yeah, that's just how I feel. Also, it's Yuta's birthday! Uh, Scorpio season is really serious for me. But apparently not serious enough for me to continue on with my Halloween reading challenge, which I set for myself. <laughs> Hello, and happy Dong Su Chong Day. Women, if you're listening, I love you. Um, oh, Wavy's new track video came out today, and it's amazing. Go listen to Pop in Love. Oh my gosh. Anyway, yes, 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 I skipped day five. Yes, I skipped day five. <laughs> Um, I didn't read anything at all yesterday because I was editing all evening. Uh, actually, I was really considering just scrapping this whole vlog. <laughs> uh, I kind of hate the beginning of it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I finally finished Manor of Death Volume 1 today. Uh, I hope this doesn't sound mean, but the storytelling was kind of terrible. Uh, I mean, like, it's supposed to be suspenseful, a thriller, right? Right? But it was like a Lifetime movie, and I really mean that in a derogatory way. I don't mean that in, like, a camp way. Uh, the romance didn't get better either. Like, it's basically insta-love. There's no depth to their feelings at all. I think the artist did a really good job, and I'm sure, like, the original novel is probably good, but the structure of the story was just terrible. Like, like, even the reveal of the murder was so anticlimactic. I just, I don't know. I really feel like I could not recommend this, especially um if you aren't, like, checking it out from, like, a library or something or borrowing it from a friend or something like that. Like, I don't know if I would pay money for this. I, I really don't. Um, I'm gonna give it uh, 2.5 stars, I guess. Um, I don't really know. I just feel like 3, for me, 3 is fine. And I don't think this was fine. Like, I think this was kind of bad. So that's why I think, like, 2.5 stars. That's very, very, very harsh, especially for me, because I'm very generous with my ratings. Um... I'm definitely not reading volume two. Not this year anyway. Uh, should we read volume two together during Halloween next year? <laughs> Maybe. Let's take a look at our TBR. Uh, I went over all the titles more thoroughly in another video if you haven't already seen that. Um, I'm actually going to try to post this video on Monday so you can watch it before Halloween or on Halloween day. 
Um, so that means I'm losing almost two whole days of reading. Like, if I were to, like, go up to all the way to Halloween. Um, hmm. So I actually can't read things because even though I own volume one, volume two uh, that I requested from the library still hasn't arrived at the library. I don't know. <laughs> um, there's no time for me to even consider Dreadful Night. Like, there's just no time. So that means I still have two manga volumes, two short manhwas, and an ongoing manhwa left to read. Hmm. We will see what we have time for because, again, uh, we have one day left. So let's see. We'll see what we do. It's Sunday, the last day of this reading vlog. And uh, so I thought, what better way to spend the Lord's Day than reading two explicit BL manhwas? <laughs> Both of these uh, are really short, so they're way more cost effective if you're low on fun money the way I always am. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. The first pick of today is called Confessions of the Night. Uh, it's about a priest named Enoch and his lover, Ray, who actually passed away. Um, but all of a sudden, Enoch begins to see Ray, or at least something that looks like Ray again, and he's the only one who can see him and touch him. <laughs> so he knows Ray must be a demon, a devil. Um, I, I think I said this in uh, the video where I introduced this in the, my TBR, but I love corruption. That slow burn of like, almost kind of like falling from grace. I love, love, love fallen angel aesthetics think like the boys roar or like kai for rover those like gross angel wings he had on i just love that concept so much and i think that's i just i love the idea of corrupted like love like being corrupted from love i should say i think that is just so compelling and so interesting and just like ah <laughs> that's how i feel about it like i don't even have any actual words for it um so i knew i would love this manhwa it's very very good and i again it's really short it's only four chapters uh, i don't want to spoil anything but i just like really truly like i don't know this was just for me kind of like, um but yeah let's just keep going let's move on to our next one uh the next or i should say the final title we'll be reading for this halloween themed video is very aptly named trick or treat <laughs> hmm um again you know time for you in this vlog is passing by in just like a second but for me it takes minutes hours i don't know how long it takes me um but anyway i'm finished reading trick or treat and um i am not sure that i that if there are words i can say on youtube.com to describe what i just read so trick or treat is about a university student named shihyuk and he lives with a hubei named hyunwoo uh, and on last Halloween, Shihak was drunk at a Halloween party and he was stumbling home drunk and he called Hyunwoo to come pick him up. And while he was waiting for Hyunwoo to come find him, uh, two little kids uh, came up to him and they said, trick or treat. <laughs> and he's like, what? And they're like, if you don't give us a treat, we'll play a trick on you. <laughs> And um, instead of, I don't know, trying to get the children a treat, I don't know how he would have done that, but uh, he decides to play a trick on them. Uh, he has like, you know that gum that like, if you pull it out, like something comes out, like, or snaps your finger. He has one, like, if you pull it out, like a bug come, comes out, the gum, a bug scares them. And they're like, what the heck? Like, you're gonna pay for this. Like, you call yourself a grown grownup. Um, and then Hyunwoo gets there and he, you know, sees the kids and stuff. And he goes to the convenience store and gets them some candy. And unbeknownst to Shihyuk, those kids, give him a treat in return, which is kind of ultimately a trick on Shihuk. Um, I don't know how to explain, again, like I said in words, what that trick is. Uh, I don't even know how I could talk around it <laughs> because it's kind of explicit, but um, basically Shihuk starts to develop an issue where uh, he can't get it up. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giggling, like, please grow up. And when he realizes, and he's like, oh man, like this happened on Halloween, he goes to speak to Hyunwoo about it, and um, the thing is, Hyunwoo likes Shihyuk. Like, that's his man. He likes him. Uh, he has a crush on him. And uh, after that, things things transpire. <laughs> and um, Shihyuk figures out exactly what the curse was, what the trick was. Uh, a trick for him, a treat for Hyunwoo. So that's kind of how it ends. It's only six chapters. It's really short. I really liked it, though. I think the art is good. Um, the premise of it is just kind of silly and fun and cute and camp. Um, I just thought it was good. Like, what a good way to end this Halloween reading vlog. Like, that was so fun. It was so silly. I thought all of the uh, 18 plus scenes were good. I liked it. I thought it was a really good BL Mama for sure. Wow, I cannot believe it, but we did it. We finished our reading challenge, our one week reading challenge. How many hours are there in a week? 168 hours? Yeah. So then let's summarize everything we read for our Halloween week. 
our Halloween week. <laughs> um, let's summarize everything we read this week for Halloween. Um, so the first thing, of course, was Call the Name of the Night. Uh, I really, really thought that was beautiful, magical realism, stunning art, gorgeous. The plot was really like nice and deep and meaningful about mental illness and I, just all around so, so, so beautiful. I can't wait to continue reading that series. Actually, definitely a manga series I will keep up with. Um, I don't know if it's already finished in Japan or not. I'll have to look into that, but really, really loved. Uh, four out of five stars. And then after that, we read Goodbye Airy. Um, very weird, interesting, weird, I don't know. Um, the ending confused me a lot, as I said. Uh, I gave it three stars because it was fine. I just thought it was confusing and I don't like Fujimoto's art style. <laughs> and then after that, we read Manner of Death, volume one. Um, we did not like that, did we? <laughs> no, we did not. Uh, I just thought the plot was not really that structured well. Um, it was just kind of meh. The romance wasn't really developed well. Uh, everything was just kind of anticlimactic and it was supposed to be a thriller. Uh, there is a volume two, but like I said, I will not be reading it. Not right now anyway, maybe someday in the future. But yeah, I would say if you're interested in the premise of it, like a corner and there being, you know, some sort of mysterious um, elements about it and why why is someone involving him in this and etc, etc. Uh, maybe watch the drama. I'm not sure how it is because I've never seen it. But yeah, if you think that sounds interesting, maybe just skip the manga and watch the drama. Um, and then after that, we read Confessions of the Night, which was a really good 18 plus rated R. <laughs> you know we love to see it. Um, BL Manhua webtoon about a priest and a devil, a demon. You know how I feel about corruption because I just talked about it for like 25 minutes. Um, so I'm going to give this one, I think, four stars, 4.5 stars. I really don't give five stars to something unless it like kind of just like blows me away but like four stars for me is really good like I, I loved it I don't have any complaints like I thought it was really good so yeah five stars is like blowing me away but if I change my my mind you'll you'll see it on the screen like I'll, I'll change the, I'll like update my rating on the screen um and then finally we read Trick or Treat which was just fun and s kind of silly and um also again 18 plus rated R rated M um, and I just thought it was good. Like, it was a fun time. It was exactly what I wanted to read for this season. Um, it's hard to find, like, Halloween-themed BLs in general. I feel like you have to kind of go into, like, just, like, Supernatural in general, um, or, like, you know, Vampire or something like that. Uh, but to have, like, a, a literal Halloween-themed manhwa was really fun, and it was just perfect. It was exactly what I wanted to read. It was a great way to wrap up this reading challenge, and I definitely give it four stars, 4.5 stars. I liked it. I thought it was really, really good. Um, I'll probably, I might even reread it. Like, it's one of those things because it's so short, I can just reread it forever and ever, over and over again, every single year. Like, every single Halloween. That'll just be my, my little tradition. <laughs> um, of course, I'm a little sad about the things we didn't get to. Uh, so we didn't get to read Fangs. I own volume one, so I will be reading it eventually. As soon as my copy gets to the library, I don't understand where it is. Honestly, the man that drives, like, the bookmobile around, maybe he's reading it. And, like, I am so happy for him, but I want that to be me. <laughs> I want the man who is driving around the bookmobile to stop reading my gay vampire book. Like, <laughs> please deliver it to me, sir. Uh, so we didn't get to read Volume 1 or Volume 2 of Fangs. We also didn't get to read Volume 1 or Volume 2 of The Summer Hikaru Died. I definitely, 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 definitely want to get to that because Volume 2 just came out, like, a week ago, maybe, or two weeks ago. So I definitely want to get around to Volume 2. Um, or, well, I want to read volume one first, but, like, since volume two came out, yeah, uh, I might even buy them. I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But, uh, and then the last thing was Kill Me If You Can, and I think I said this in my TBR, but I've actually already read a little bit of this, but I can't remember what chapter I read up to. I'll have to go check my legend, but I think I read around to, like, chapter 12, and it was so good. Um, I read my manhwas on kind of, like, a weekly rotation. Like, every other week I read them, so I think that, um, I want to add it to my regular weekly rotations. Like, I, I think I want to incorporate it into my, like, life, basically. I don't want to wait for, like, uh, season one to end or anything. Like, I think I want to keep up with it as it's ongoing, so... That's kind of sad too, uh, but I will be getting around to that very, very, very soon. And yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you liked this new format. Uh, I'll definitely try to do more reading vlogs in the future. I'm a big fan of making like TBRs for my months because I really, really, really love to theme them accordingly. Uh, I don't really know what the theme for November will be because November doesn't really have a vibe to me. Um, but then definitely in December, I will be reading wintry slash Christmas BLs, you better bet. Um, so I'll definitely be doing another one then. But yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I have just like a lot of random things that I need to read. So again, I will definitely try in the future to make more reading vlogs if you like them. I know that like only three people watch my videos. <laughs> but um, this is kind of fun for me. It's just a little hobby. Um, and yeah, I think it's fun to share your interests with other people who might have the same interests. Um, 
So I guess that's it. Uh, I hope you uh, have a happy and safe Halloween. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end here. Um, yeah, I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye everyone.